So I was on the internet today, as one is, and I saw a bunch of people on some forums wondering why their video shot in F-Log when processed ends up with a weird colour shift. And this can be shown quite easily. I'll, I'll cut in some images here of some low light pictures I took the other day, well video, of some rooks in a tree. And on those, if you process the video the way that Fuji have written into the metadata on the video, it ends up with the sky looking purple. If you process it the way Fuji say on their specification for F-Log, it comes out with the correct blue colour. Why? Well, the reason is that not all red, green and blue is born equal. So before you can actually process video that has a, which is done with the notion of red, green and blue colors, you have to define what red, green and blue is. Now, Fuji in the metadata on their F-Log video says it's SMPTE 170M, I think that's it. That's an old cathode ray tube standard. It's fairly meaningless in the modern world. Why it says that, I don't know. What that means though, is that the color points for red, green, and blue are not actually what the camera is recording. It says in the data sheet, and I know from experience it's true, that the colors that have been recorded for F-Log are the BT2020 colors, the HDR color gamut. Now because particularly the red and the blue are in quite different hues in that old CRT standard compared to the modern HDR standard, when you convert in, when you make a conversion to a video assuming that the colors are the SMPTE uh, 170M, then it gets the color completely wrong. It also crushes the colors down so they end up lo looking washed out and the image looks like it was on an old CRT. Uh, so what you have to do is explicitly tell the video ingesting software that the colors are not what it says in the metadata, they are BT2020 colors. Just in the same way that you have to have a custom, ga custom gamma curve. Now, if all of that's a bit of a confusion and a pain, then there are some, some ways of helping. I have scripts up on GitHub which explain exactly, well, they, they have written into them exactly how to do that using FFmpeg. So FFmpeg has a filter in it called Z scale. And in Z scale, you can set the matrix in and the primaries in. So you can tell it to ignore what the video metadata says and to use BT2020 primaries and BT2020 color gamut. Excellent. And then what you end up with is a video with the correct primaries and the correct color matrix, but it's got the wrong gamma. And then again on GitHub, I have created a whole bunch of LUTs, which will, which are, that means lookup table, they convert from one value to another, that do nothing other than convert the gamma curve for, uh, for what Fuji is saying is, and they have kind of, oh, never mind, it's complicated, but what they, what they say is BT709 gamma curve, and it's not, it, it's F-log gamma curve, so will, the LUTs take that, the gamma curve that's F-log that's coming in, and convert that to the correct HDR gamma curve, which is M SMPTE2084 PQ. And you can probably tell by the numbers that this is a much later version than the earlier versions for gamma curves. Then you get the color right and you get the gamma curve right. So please go and check out GitHub. So let's have a, a little look at a few more of the problems these color shifts will cause and I'll catch you next time. First correct BT2020 then incorrect dreaded purple SMTPE170M.
found this video useful hit like and subscribe, if you don't I will be very disappointed, and we would not want that would we.